Hi everyone, I'm Wolvlox and welcome back to SimCity Creator. I wanted to make this one last follow-up video to go over unlocking every single building and map in the game. So we're going to start with Dawn of Civilization. If you want to unlock the garbage dump, which is all the way down here. Uh, garbage dump, garbage dump, garbage dump. Alright, well, if you want to unlock the garbage dump in this age, you need to have 6,000 population, so just 1,000 over. And if you want, want to unlock the bonus map, you need to have 7,500 population, and for the excellent map, 10,000 population. For the open Asia age, if you want to unlock the private school, you have to have at least 30 health level. And if you want the bonus map, your population has to go up by 25,000. For the excellent map, your population has to go up by 35,000, and you have to have a 30 education level. I wanted to note that for some of the population values and education slash health level values, they might be slightly inexact, but they're likely to be close to the actual value, so as long as you're striving for those values, you're likely to unlock what you're looking for. So for the European Renaissance, the spiritual school you unlock at health level 30, just like in Open Asia Age, and the spiritual college you unlock at education level 25. The obelisk, as we know, you unlock after you build the fortress. He only takes half your money, so it doesn't really matter how much you have as long as it's not in the negative. Oh, and for the bonus map, you need to have your population go up by 25,000. And your population for the excellent map needs to go up by 35,000. Your education level should be 35 and your health level should be around 75. For the Asia development age. If you want to unlock the zoo. Then you need to have your population uh, increase by 20,000. You have to have a 20, 40 education level and 85 health level. Library. Your population has to go up by 20k as well. 40 education level. Health level 85. Airport. The population's got to go up by 25k. Education level 50. Health level 85. For the international stadium, you just got to have around 75% approval and make sure you got 20,000 simoleons laying around so that you're able to pay for it. And then you'll be able to get the international stadium there. For the library, you gotta have 40 education level. Airport, we already went over. Uh, it looks like I had a mistake, actually. So you just need 45 education level for the airport. For the zoo, you actually just need 40 education level. My apologies. University, education level 20. Playground, health level 35. The baseball and Asia development age. The ballpark is already unlocked. Doesn't have any health requirements. And... Yep, that should be it. Oh, and if I didn't mention it already, library, education level 40, just like the other ages. Uh, and the bonus map, if you're looking to unlock those. Population, 60,000 increase. Your education level's got to be around 38 or so. Health level around 75. And for the excellent map, it's got to go up a little bit more than that. And continue to raise your education and health level. Looks like I got 60 education level and health level about 85. And for the European Industrial Age, for your library, you're going to want education level 50 in this age. The playground, health level 40. Zoo, health level 45. Soccer field, health level 40. And for that art gallery that we unlocked that I wasn't really sure about, you got to have your education level be at 60 to unlock that. For the bonus map, you have to have your population at plus 60,000. And for the excellent map, plus 70,000 with an education level of 80. Although the wiki that I looked at uh, from the Japanese wiki for SimCity Creator mentioned that your education level should be at least over 30 and you should try to negate the effects of pollution. Those are important things to mention. I'm not sure what the exact figures are though. It seems like that age is a little bit more inconspicuous. I wanted to mention that I've been looking at the game's code and I've managed to reconstruct it at least into some sort of readable form. But of course it's DS code so it's not made in the super greatest form. So what it looks like is functions and variables in the code that 
don't have any specific names, so it makes it kind of difficult to figure out what's useless information and what's helpful information, but I'm going to keep looking at that and seeing if I can figure out exact requirements and how the game's internal systems work, if that's a possibility. But it's a little, uh, it's a little unclear at the, at the moment exactly what the code does and looks like, so i keep plugging along at that. But we'll move on from the European Industrial Age to the American Prosperity Age. For the library, you're going to, of course, need education level 50. That doesn't change from European Industrial. For the TP, you have to clear the age. And actually, I should mention for some of the other requirements, you do need to have a specific approval rating requirement. But as long as you're continuing to develop your city as you shoot for at higher education levels and health levels that which you're probably going to be doing anyway as to afford those with your budget but also to make sure that they are actually functional uh so don't worry too much about that but just make sure you develop your approval rating alongside your city as well if you're striving for education and health levels that should just be that should just make sense so the tp you need to have education level 60 and 100 percent approval and then you'll unlock it the playground is just health level 35, the zoo health level 45, and the ballpark health level 40. For the bonus map, you're going to need 60,000 plus population. For the excellent map, plus 90,000, education level 60, health level somewhere around 62. That's American Prosperity and the Global Warming Age. You want to unlock the greenhouse, these buildings down here. Well, somewhere around here, but we'll also look at these ones. If you want to unlock the greenhouse, you need education level 50. Desalinization plant, education level 60. That water treatment plant is going to bring us to the popular theme of research funding. Research funding, research funding. That's how you're going to unlock most of the buildings in this age. So the water treatment plant, you need education level 60. Research funding and the environmental protection facility. And you need to make sure you have polluted water which is what we were unlocking we're struggling to unlock for a little bit because you got to make sure you have a significant amount of polluted water not too much but enough to where it'll trigger for the energy incinerator you want to make sure you have education level 40 and research funding as well wind power plant just education level 80 nuclear power plant education level 50 and research funding <laughs> geothermal power plant Education level 85, and you also need to have the Environmental Protection Facility. And to actually unlock the Environmental Protection Facility, you got to have research funding, of course, and an Education level 60. And once you have that built, as long as you maintain your Education level, a little bit after that, you should unlock the Environmental Protection... Uh, or you should, sorry, you should unlock the Eco Research Lab, which is this building here. To unlock the Archaeological Lab, you're going to need... Education level of 70, and you're going to need, of course, re more research funding. And for these buildings that we are really struggling to unlock, the drilling facility and the oil refinery. For the drill, you're just going to need to play through Asia's global warming age. You bulldoze the big tree while you have 10,000 simoleons, and you should get the alert. And once you wait a little bit, after confirming that that's what you want to do, if you wait a little bit, about a year... You'll unlock the oil refinery if you have about 20,000 simoleons, and that will bring you to the end of the buildings for Global Warming Age. And for the maps, you'll need 550,000 plus population for the bonus, and for the excellent, plus 600,000, and an education level about 82, health level about 70. And for post-Global Warming Age, you're going to need a lot, a lot of money to unlock to, to at least place some of these buildings but if you're looking to unlock the ozone power plant which is this only games uh this era is only somewhat difficult unlock you're going to need an education level of 90 and research funding so definitely chug along at building that city up because for the bonus and excellent maps you're definitely going to need your population higher for your bonus map you're going to need a population of 300,000 plus and for excellent map 500,000 plus, an education level of 92, and a health level of 70. And once you have all those things, you should be able to complete 
every building in the game and unlock every single free play map. And, of course, as you complete every single age to its fruition, you will have every symbol of the age. Uh-oh, that doesn't seem good. There's an urgent notice. Come to the mayor's office. Wolf. It seems that something terrible has happened. Did you know about it? That's right. The nuclear power plant in your city has exploded. And while the damage to your buildings is huge, there's something worse. The area around the plant has been contaminated with radiation. Have you heard of radioactive contamination, Wolf? It's an extremely dangerous form of pollution that has already happened several times. For example, the Chernobyl disaster that happened on April 1986 in the former Soviet Republic. In this incident, the land was heavily contaminated and the people were severely injured. The land affected by radiation remains inhabitable even now, and it will stay that way for many, many years to come. Some say even until the year 22,000. Chernobyl will be safe, potentially, for human habitation. That's a long time from now. So many, in fact, that no one, including myself, knows when it will disappear. So, Wolf, I may offer a little advice. Why not end the game here and start it over once more? If you continue the game as is, the contamination will can only continue to spread. And no matter how many buildings you make that help the environment, the damage will never be undone. Of course, you continue playing like this if you wish. To be honest, I don't think there would be much point to that. So, Wolf, since this is a big decision, let me ask you once again. Would you like to continue the game after what happened, or will you start over without saving? Let's keep going. Huh? You wish to continue this game? As I explained, it will be nearly impossible to rebuild your city. Die. But I understand. That is truly what you want. However, I'm afraid I have no more advice to offer you. I'm sorry for that. The rest will be up to you, your tenacity, and your will. And incidentally, if you decide to start this game over, you can always do that too. Just select quick game from the save sheet. Okay then, Wolf. I'm sure you'll be hard, but I wish you good luck. As for me, I... I guess I should run away. The grass and the glass cracks. Alright, although we've already encountered a budget shortfall in this age, you can also encounter it again. It's a multi-chain event, so we'll go to the... See what the urgent notice is. Wolf, I know you've been working hard since we last talked, but unfortunately it seems that your funds are still in the negative. Perhaps it is time to just give up. It looks like it will be practically impossible to restore your funds to the black at this point, so I think it would be better to just restart the game. In the first chain of events, he'll offer you some advice, since as, since, such as lowering your expenses, increasing your taxes to balance your budget, of course, it's very sad for me too. But now you can take steps on your next game to ensure that this never happens again. So on that note, let's end the game and try again. No, we're gonna keep it up. What? You really want to continue the game like this? Hmm. I really don't think there is anything left you can do, but... If that's truly what you want, then there's nothing I can do. Very well, go on and keep trying. It looks like things are going nowhere fast. I will come back to check on, check on you. Until we meet again. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and comment. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when new content comes out. I'm Wolvlox, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!